Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on here and do my seven and a half month post-op update. Um, it's been a while since I updated and I apologize for that. It's been kind of crazy around here. Um, but in seven and a half months, I am down a hundred pounds. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great, you know, it's great. Um, I can do more things. Most of my health issues are gone. Um, but it still is an emotional battle, and um, I posted on my Facebook, you know, 100 pounds down, and or when I was close to it, someone's like, "You're almost there," and I felt so embarrassed because, uh, you know, I have way more than 100 pounds to lose. <laughs> so I'm like, "No, just halfway," you know. <laughs> but you know, 100 pounds isn't something that just brush off like it's nothing because it's huge you know it's almost like a whole person and uh, it still doesn't feel like that like I see old pictures of myself and I'm thinking is that really me you know or is that me you know I didn't feel like I looked like that uh, when I was that size like I always viewed myself the same, you know, no matter what size I was, and I don't know, it's just kind of weird because, you know, when you lose weight, you're like, is that me? And then, now it's like, I look back on my old pictures and I'm like, was that me? You know? <laughs> so it's kind of a little bit of both worlds there. Um, but this week I'm getting back into exercise, you know, kind of slacked off. Uh, you know, I was still losing like two to three pounds a week without exercise but you know it's not fun when you have almost no muscles in your legs going downstairs but I will <laughs> leave it at that you know I'm, it's just hard for me to get motivated right now like I've been really tired and I just I'm just not in the mood you know I just you know I want to build muscles and everything but I, for some reason I just getting to that step has just been an issue for me. I don't know if I'm just depressed or something this week. I don't know. I ended up crying last night over some dumb stuff. Like, I was just, I don't know. I was just feeling kind of alone, I guess, in the journey that, because it's been really hard for me to adjust socially with this surgery and just to adjust with this surgery um you know the surgery is no joke <laughs> like every day my life revolves around um whether what i'm gonna eat if i'm gonna get my protein in and what i'm gonna do for exercise you know and it's just kind of feeling like i want a day off you know but you don't get days off you know when it comes to your health <laughs> um but yeah, it's just, I was just crying over that, and it was, cause like, there's an issue the other week where I was, I tried a taco from Taco Bell. Just the insides of the taco, <laughs> not the shell. Um, actually I did try a nibble of a shell, and it tasted like crap. So I was like, why would I even want that? So, I was, it was like one of those Dorito taco shells too, so I'm like, oh, this is nasty. <laughs> Why did I even eat this before, you know, it's, uh, I guess that's the whole mind change, you know, when you think about food now, or at least for me, um, I think of the nutrition it's going to put into my body, not just, oh, this tastes good, let me eat it, you know, um, you know, I do try to find food that tastes great, obviously, like bacon, but I haven't had bacon in a while, and then last night, I made some, but we weren't sure how long that bacon was in the fridge, and it, ugh, it did not taste good. I mean, I didn't get sick or anything, but I was just like, here, and I gave it to my husband, and he's like, I'll eat it if you don't want it, you know? So I'm like, you can have that whole pack in there, it tastes like crap to me. Uh, and that's another thing, you know, just the sensitivity of my mouth, or not just my mouth, but my stomach, like, I can't do a chicken breast, it causes too much pain. And if something is not cooked, uh, if it's overcooked, like a steak, if it's not mostly pink, I cannot eat it. 
like my stomach will get angry as they call it and it just starts hurting um, and we had a, I had a burger last night and it wasn't it was barely pink so I guess that's what medium well and uh, it didn't sit well and I just and then I was just disgusted with every food and I was hungry but I didn't want to eat anything I just I don't know it's really an emotional battle right now um <laughs> You know, that part hasn't gone away. Um, but right now my food is I wake up, have a shake, exercise, have another shake, um, then either have dinner or snack, and then have, you know, more snacks until I go to bed. Uh, wait about an hour if I can. Because sometimes if my stomach doesn't empty, I'll wake up with three fucks, you know. Like the other night, I had to stay up literally till 2 a.m. because my stomach wasn't emptying and I knew just sitting back in a chair like this, it would cause reflux. And then the other night, I woke up with reflux at about 4 a.m. You know, it was hours after I'd eaten. Or not 4 a.m., but was it 2 or 3? And uh, I just had to get up and watch a movie or something because I, I you know, my bed is raised. And then I added lots of pillows, so I was basically almost sitting up, and it was still reflexing. I'm just like, this is nasty. You know, this is coming up, and oh, I felt like a dragon. You know, breathing fire, and ugh. But, um, that's kind of the emotional <laughs> and food issues I've been having. Um, lots of good stuff going on, too. Uh, just the whole being able to do stuff like I can go upstairs not get out of breath um, and like the exercise video got videos I showed you guys um, sometimes I even slightly speed run up the stairs not really speed run but speed walk because <laughs> usually I'm just slow as a snail and you know, have nothing in my legs to support me and um, hoping to build that but uh, yeah I have some pictures for you guys and I will talk to you guys next week. Oh, and the numbers was I went from 320 to 220. So yay! <laughs> uh, I will be back next week with another update hopefully if I don't get too busy. Sorry! Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye!